Hello. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use VSS to make an error vector magnitude measurement, and we'll also discuss the key components that are needed to make the measurement. If we take a look at the system diagram, we'll see we have a 16 QAM source being generated here. We have an amplifier, a filter, and if I double click on the filter, we can look at the key characteristics of it. And then we come out of the filter into a signal align block. The signal align block can be found in the signal processing node of the VSS elements tree. It is used to compensate for gain and phase distortion prior to the EVM measurement being made. The outputs of the signal align block are then fed into two receivers. These receivers are used to detect the incoming symbols and plot the reference IQ plot along with the measured IQ plot or the constellation plot. And the network analyzer found in the elements tree of VSS under the no network analyzer is used to make the physical EVM measurement, the comparison of the reference IQ plot along with the measured IQ plot. So in this graph, we have that exactly displayed, the reference IQ plot or the red circles and the measured points, the blue triangles, are the result of passing the signal through the amplifier and the filter and then being corrected by the signal align block prior to making the EVM measurement. In this table, or I should say IQ plot, we see the raw IQ transmitted signal and the intersymbol interference here is due to the root raised cosine filtering used on the in phase and quadrature signal. The table that we're most interested in is this here. And in this case, the VSS simulation is running continuously. And the first column here happens to be time. And the second column is the EVM in terms of percentage. So presently, we have about a 1.1% EVM. If I come here into uh, the uh, tuning capability of VSS, you'll see here that I can tune on the signal power that's just before the filter, which is currently minus 30 dBm. And as I tune on the signal power, I can cause the EVM to degrade as a direct result of running that amplifier into compression. And we can clearly see here that I have, have the signal in comp compression due to the IQ plot. And we can look at the resulting EVM, in this case, uh, 6% with the uh, corrections due to the signal align block. If we come over here to the uh, project tree, the physical EVM measurement is specified in this window. We come over here and we'll select Network Analyzer, Error Vector Magnitude, specify the analyzer that we want to use. That's to say you can have many points of where you make EVM or many analyzers, and then specify the metric. And in this case, I'm taking 100 samples at a time and measuring the EVM on each sample and doing an average on five blocks and then displaying the EVM that we see in the table. For further information about making EVM measurements, or for that matter, working with VSS, you can come over here and go File, Open Example, and type in a particular subject. In this case, I typed in EVM. And you'll see several test benches that you can look and read further on how to make EVM measurements in VSS. And in fact, the very first example project over here will also show you how to make VSS co-simulate with Microwave Office and make the follow, following EVM or error vector magnitude measurement. Thank you for your time and I hope you find this example or video useful.